Hi you guys, it's Rosetta Wolf, the Violet Wolf Witch, and I'm back with another witchy video. Today I wanted to do a little witchy haul. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, then thank you and welcome back. On this channel, I talk about witchy tips and life advice, law of assumption, and all things spiritual. So if you are interested in more videos like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you can get more videos like this one. With that being said, I just wanted to share this tiny haul. It's only going to take a few minutes because it is a smaller witchy haul. Um, recently it was 4th of July, so I was visiting some friends and family and did a mini road trip with my husband. And we passed through a little suburb of Aurora, Illinois. If you are familiar with it, be sure to leave a comment, tell me about it. I'd like to do a little more research on it. It seemed like a charming little historic suburb, and I'm interested in exploring it more in the future. Um, I passed this shop, Hoof and Horn, and I am familiar with it from Instagram, so be sure to follow their Instagram page. And if you are in the area, I highly recommend stopping in. I really love the aesthetic, and they were very welcoming in the shop and had reasonably priced items. I'd be sure to spend most of my paycheck if I was more of a local, but I just wanted to share what I got. So, um, first off, I got some really good quality candles there, and I'm super excited about them because I could tell by looking at the wax that they're amazing. Um, they are very hefty. Sometimes when you get seven day candles, or if you get a candle from the dollar store, they're very cheap waxy candles, and they're sort of like dollar store crayons, really cheap, like generic crayons. And you can tell whether it's a good candle or a bad candle when you start working with it, when you dress them. So even though everything is about intention and it's not about budget, um, I really don't like working with the cheaper waxy candles from the dollar store, even though they do work. Um, you could tell just by looking at it. It's a quality wax candle and it's very hefty. It was only um, like $9. And this one is a road opener. Um, very easy to dress and you won't lose a lot of wax if you puncture it to dress it with herbs and oils. With a cheaper wax, it breaks a lot of the candle and you lose a lot of wax um, and then it kind of burns unevenly. So I'm super excited about working with these. Um, road opener is great for removing obstacles if you want a new job or a um, promotion or a way to get money or if you are looking to buy a house, something like that that's a little tricky, a road opener is fantastic for that. So I'll probably use this for promotion work, uh, steady job work, something to that effect since it's green. So good to use with uh, anything money, wealth related, right? And I was super excited because they had some Santa Muerte candles that were really beautiful. And they also had this Santa Muerte on a throne, um, but she was a little out of my price range, at least for this time. I could afford her, but I couldn't really justify where to put her in my home. My home is full of altars and I've got limited space to work with now, so I wanna do right by her. Um, but I might come back for her. She was on a throne with coins at her feet. She was holding these scales of justice. She was just beautiful. I think I saw her on her Insta on their Instagram page at one point too. Um, they have a website that you could order from as well um, for minimal stuff for needs, but I really uh, was looking forward to dropping in in person when I realized that we would be passing through the area. Um, but this is the Holy Death candle, the Santa Muerte that I got. Again, it was only like $9 and it's a hefty candle and it looks like really good quality wax, really has some weight to it. Um, so I'm super excited about it. I know it won't burn down in just a few days um, and the cheaper candles tend to burn unevenly or burn too quickly. Uh, and it has a prayer on it. Oh, Santa Muerte, beloved lady of silence who knows the darkness in my heart and accepts me for who I am. Oh, sweet protector of lost souls. Shield me from my enemies and season my life with sweetness. You have power over all living things. Do not forsake me as I place my faith within you. So Santa Muerte, if you don't know or if you have any misconceptions about her, she is a very loving maternal figure. And unlike um, Catholic or 
Christian-based religions. Uh, you can go to her for any any prayers, and she won't judge you. She doesn't judge you by you know race, uh, gender identity, sexual um, preference. So she is a amazing saint to work with without judgment, no matter what it is that you're asking for. She is neutral and she will not judge you whether it is something that is deemed like good or bad, like uh, jinxes, hex work, darker work, revenge work, um, love work, you know, there's no judgment. So I highly recommend if you feel at all drawn to Santa Muerte that you do look more into working with her if you resonate with her. Um, she is really, really loving and a lot of people think that she is death wants to, you know, end life, cut the thread of life. And it's not true that she hates life. She loves life. She understands how precious time is and she wants you to live your life to the fullest. So I highly recommend if you at all resonate with her, that you look more into working with her and um, just give it a try. You know, no reason to hesitate. Life is short. Um, moving on, I did get some, I love loose leaf teeth. And I know a lot of people charge their water to manifest with it. And I think that that's an amazing thing to do with tea because you are working with the elements of earth, water, you know, heat, fire, uh, air, and you are working with all the elements within your being within the pentacle, right? And you're also working with the symbolism that corresponds with all the herbs that are within different teas, right? So loose leaf tea is a great thing to work with when you are manifesting and you just stir your tea counterclockwise if you're trying to draw something to you like love, prosperity, and if you're trying to banish something, even an illness from your body because tea has amazing antioxidants, right? Just do it counterclockwise. It has a very cleansing effect and our bodies are mostly water, so you are absorbing whatever intentions that you are charging within your tea. So I'm already ready for Halloween, as you can see, and I've got a little undead mermaid <laughs> attached to my loose leaf tea strainer. Um, separate purchases, but um, Amazon related, but I do believe heavily in supporting small businesses. This isn't sponsored. I just thought that this was a cool business and go ahead and check it out if you're ever passing through Aurora, Illinois. I'll follow them on Instagram. Um, but this I got was a divination loose leaf tea that they made, and the ingredients are lemon balm, cinnamon, allspice, anise, which is licorice, um, mugwort, chrysanthemum, and stevia. And mugwort, if you are ever looking into divination work, is incredible for dream work, uh, psychic powers, enhancements, um, or if you're getting somebody to... Um, to talk, to speak up, to spill a secret if you are doing something um, with candle magic involving mugwort or mugwort baths. Uh, it's extremely, extremely effective in enhancing your third eye, your psychic abilities. So um, I'll probably see if they have any more on their website. Uh, I really like the taste of it so far. Um, again, it does have licorice in it, so if you're not a fan of that, I don't like like strong licorice, but it's just a subtle hint of it. Um, I really like it. So, and it, it's a good amount for the price. It was only about $10. Um, I also got a chicken's foot. And if you didn't know, chicken's feet are great for protection. They're good in hex work as well to scratch the back or the eyes of your enemies. You can wear it, you can hang it in your house, put it on your altar, and it um, you can also use it energetically to scratch from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet all the way down. And it scratches through any negativity that's been placed upon you. Um, good in mojo bags, you know, um, putting around the house, just cleanse from time to time and you can reuse it. Or like I said, if you want to use it in hex work, candle magic or a mojo bag, that is a great thing to use as well. Um, I, I've never seen this before, but of course I had to. And it's called Wolf's Eye, and it's good for steady work and job security. And even though I'm pretty secure in employment, I never have an issue with finding a job. Um, I'm a healthcare worker, so there's available options everywhere. Um, and I've just, I've never had poor luck with getting a job. Uh, it's always good to protect it 
right? It's always good to keep an eye on it, make sure that you're secure, use study job oil, burn study job uh, incense, employment incense, wealth incense. It's good to always keep that energy moving, right? Never be too arrogant about it. Um, I don't know if it's like a root or what it is, but it is, and if, you, if you've ever used it before, comment down below and tell us all about it. Um, I know that you can get this one on their website. Um, but it feels like a root, maybe wrapped in cotton, kind of looks like a spider web, uh, but I'll probably put it in a mojo bag and dress it in some steady work and protection oil and carry it with me uh, when I'm working. But wolf's eye, so of course I had to go ahead and get it. It's funny, it says code R, wolf, so my initials as well. <laughs> Um, I also got a cowrie shell, a tiger cowrie shell, and this is good for good luck, um, protection, prosperity, and of course, feminine energy, and I'm going to bless it and put it on one of my altars. Uh, I also got this iron key. That really is, it's incredibly heavy. It looks almost like a toy at first glance, but it's really heavy, and um, iron is great for protection. And of course, I'm going to use this on one of my altars. Um, it's good with St. Anthony, Papa Legba, Hecate, Lord Ganesh, any keeper of the gates, um, crossroads, St. Peter. So I'm going to either hang it by the altar or place it on the altar. Um, and it's good for any, uh, if you want to use it with a road opener or protection work, uh, it's good to use with any gatekeeping. Um, crossroad type spirits of which there are many saints, gods, goddesses um, that are connected with opening new doors, closing doors on the old paths. Uh, so I was pretty excited about that. I do believe that you could still get these on their website as well. And of course I had to get some Santa Muerte loose incense. And it looks like maybe it has rosebuds, sunflower petals, Maybe copal resin? It smells fantastic, so I'm really looking forward to burning it, but it is beautifully made and losing it already. It was only seven bucks. Collectively, I think I spent around $100, which is not bad for all this. It looks like really good quality, everything. And then last but not least, I went ahead and I got these stickers. They had a bunch of really cool stickers. Also $7 each, and one was a black goat. And I'm going to clean off my car really good and put them on the back. And I don't want YouTube to get silly about censorship, but I got this witch on a broom with a crystal ball. And I think that they'll be fantastic together. They represent my husband and myself. And I'm going ahead and use them as bumper stickers. I don't really use a lot on my car, but I think that they are worth it. And of course, because they are symbolic of us, I thought that it would be a cute idea. You always see people with, you know, Christian symbols, Catholic symbols on their cars. So why not represent the witches, right? I feel like there's still a lot of hatred towards witchcraft based religions and that sort of thing. And even though it's become a little bit more mainstream to talk about, I think that we should really promote ourselves just as other spiritual um, believers do, right? I don't think that we should be ashamed at all. And I'm not going to be. I, <laughs> I encourage everybody to express themselves, but super cute. And they had a lot of really cool, like um, Amanita mushroom stickers, Evil Eye stickers. And I'm sure those are probably on their website too, but check them out if you're ever in Aurora, Illinois. And let me know if you're from there. I'd like to know more about the area because it looked incredibly historic. It had a small town feel like, you know, something like Michigan or Lake Geneva, something like that. Um, but if you like this witchy haul and you are interested in more spiritual based videos, be sure to like, share and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram at the Violet Wolf Witch and on TikTok as Rosetta Wolf. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.